Okay, in this video we're going to talk about push and pop and it's going to be a very quick video. Sometimes the reason for using push and pop can be different reasons. Sometimes you have so many values and you don't have enough register for them to use it. Or sometimes you need to use a register for a couple of purposes. For any reason, you need to have multiple values inside of a register. One of the ways that you can reuse your register is to push and pop values from registers or from anything, pretty much. But um, here, let's take a look at how we're going to push and pop stuff inside of our register. Okay, so I'm going inside of my code and I'm going to push, no, I'm going to move EAX, I'm going to move 5 inside of EAX, and then I'm going to push EAX, after that I'm going to move um, 10 to EAX and I'm going to call write deck on it to show you what's inside of my register and then after that I'm going to pop EAX and when I pop EAX I don't put any value inside of EAX and I'm just going to call write deck on it so let's see what what I did here I first put 5 inside of my register EAX and then I pushed it inside of um, stack and that 5 is going to go inside of my stack and EAX, um, I moved 10 inside of EAX and I called write deck on it. So with the first write deck we're going to get number 10 and with the second one I popped EAX so that means I took the value back from the stack and I put it back inside of EAX and when I call write deck on it I have to get 5. So now when I run this program if my explanation is correct the first value has to be 10 and the second value has to be um, 5. And I'm going to call CRLF so we have a space between them so we can see them uh, better. And as you can see I have 10 first and then 5 second. 